As you guys can see, I am playing GTA 5 on my Android device inside Winlater and I am almost getting 100 plus FPS. Let's get started. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Aptrix here. Welcome to the official 2026 Winlater setup guide for all kind of Android devices, including low end, mid range, as well as MediaTek processor Android devices. I'll be talking about the full setup, best settings, as well as showing you the gameplay, telling you which is the best version of Winlater to run on your own Android devices. Because official Winlater is not the only version of Winlater we get win later c mode ludashi win later star and lot more with that being said if you guys are new here hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification let's jump right into our today's video win later is an open source windows emulator for android which runs using wine but it has various versions so right here is the official win later android by bruno dev but we won't be using this version of win later 11 which was released recently no 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 this win later version performs very poorly on all type of android devices providing you with very less FPS compared to the other versions of Winlater Android. So instead we'll be using the Winlater Bionic Ludashi emulator which is actually optimized for all kind of Snapdragon processor, mid-range low-end as well as high-end Android devices but it does not work as well on Mali GPU devices so MediaTek Exynos processor this emulator is not for you. Instead for your Android devices you'll need to go with the Star Windows emulator for Android which is the fork version of Winlater Frost. So I have already made a video talking about how to set up Star Windows emulator emulator on your Android. The reason why we'll be using the Star Windows emulator for Mali GPU Android devices so MediaTek processor is because this emulator has the best performance for Mali GPU devices as it supports the Votec graphics driver. Whereas if we just go and try Winlater Bionic Ludashi emulator, it has the wrapper graphics driver which is obviously better than Votec. For Snapdragon it provides more FPS but for MediaTek processor you'll need to go with the Star Windows emulator. I'll talk about the setup in just a bit. So recently the Winlater Bionic Ludashi 2.8 was released two days ago. Once again, it's completely open source. You guys can check them out on their own official GitHub. With that being done, make sure to add the WinLater C mode Bionic Ludashi on your Android device. After all, simply tap on this allow button and wait until this setup is completed. Now, WinLater Bionic Ludashi will provide you with the best performance because it is very optimized for Snapdragon processors. So, if you have any kind of Snapdragon, doesn't matter, A Delete 7 H Gen 3, 7 Gen 3, etc., all of your games will run properly. Unlike if you use the star emulator for snapdragon devices, it won't give you as much FPS as the wrapper graphics driver inside this. Basically, if it is getting too complex, I'll simplify it in small terms. Bionic Ludashi emulator for snapdragon processors and star windows emulator for MediaTek processors. And here we begin with the setup process. Once you open this emulator, tap on the OK button and enable this option. And let's get to setting up this emulator. So we'll tap on these three lines at the top left corner. Afterwards, go to the settings option. Here, box 64 preset set it to performance fixed score preset set it to performance now you'll need to duplicate the preset of performance in terms of box 64 afterwards make sure to edit this and set the safe flex level to zero for best performance now these are universal settings make sure to use this for better compatibility and performance in all games but for ubisoft games you will need to go with compatibility preset only for box 64 once that has been done simply tap on this tick mark button now here comes the most important part which is the setting up of WinLater Android on a mobile device with the best settings. So in terms of screen size, if you have a low-end Android device, I recommend you guys to stick with 854 x 480p resolution which provides you 16 to 9 aspect ratio. But for today's video, as the device which I am using has Snapdragon 8 Elite, I'll go with the default 1280 x 720p resolution. In terms of Wine version, you get only two options, Proton x86 as well as ARM64. Make sure to go with the ARM64 version as it provides you with the best support for wrapper graphics driver. So here you only get one option inside this windows emulator and that is wrapper graphics driver. So if you tap on settings you can only change Vulkan version and graphics driver version will be by default system so you won't be able to change anything. Once that has been done in terms of DX wrapper make sure to choose the VKD3D as 2.8 and in terms of feature level it should be 12 underscore 1. Scroll down and in terms of DX3K version make sure to choose DX3K 2.3.1 ARM64 EC. Enable a synchronous as well after tap on the OK button. If your DX wrapper doesn't work properly then you can go. If your games do not work properly or if they don't boot you can go with the 2.3.1 default DXVK wrapper. In terms of audio driver set it as pulse audio. Select the show FPS option as well as enable the full screen aspect ratio. Once that has been done, make sure to scroll to the advanced section and here box 64 version is the latest 0.3.7 and preset as performance 1 that we just created. So here the Fexco version is actually pretty old and the preset is performance. 
I'll talk about how you can update it in just a bit. But in terms of startup selection, set it to aggressive and make sure to tick mark to create our container. If you go to this section, then here you guys can see the contents option where you'll be able to add Wine version 10 ARM64 EC. So make sure to add this. Once that's done, it will show this pop up. Just wait for a few seconds. And here we go. The content has been successfully added. We'll also go to Fix Score and make sure to add the latest Fix Score January 1st build, which is 2601. Tap on this button. Afterwards, it will be successfully added. Now these were very important. So you'll need to create a brand new container to choose the Wine 10. ARM64 AC version as once you create a container you can't change the Proton version so just go with the same settings here as well and in terms of advanced settings now you guys will be able to see Fixco version you can go with the 2026 January version for best performance once that's done simply launch any container that you have created tap on don't allow and it will successfully start the win later windows emulator on your android device now all you got to do is go to the folder where you have stored your pc games i have stored gta 5 Lite version right here so i'll simply launch my pc game by opening this now for you to be able to play pc games on your android device with the help of win later you'll need to dump your own copy of the pc games that you are trying to emulate on your android device for example if you want to play gta 5 then you'll need to add the original gta 5 game on your android device first it needs to be preloaded so there shouldn't be any setup or anything for the game the game should directly start and meanwhile while the gta 5 Lite is launching gta 5 Lite takes a lot of time to launch if you also want to set up gta Lite on your android device you guys can watch the video on the icard above anyways for mediatek processor android device inside the star emulator you'll need to use the following best settings screen size go with 800 by 600 graphics driver should be votek universal graphics driver and in terms of dx wrapper go with the default 1.10.3 dx wrapper in terms of audio driver set it to pulse audio and everything else you guys can set it just like how we did inside the will later bionic ludashi emulator and yeah windows version make sure to set it to windows 7 so it decreases the amount of memory usage and then simply tap on the tick mark button and create your container here we go our game has successfully started now you'll need to swipe back go to input controls tap on import profile go to this section and select the on screen touch controls profile for the game that you are trying to emulate GTA 5 input touch control should work well with almost all the games if not you also get the virtual gamepad option but here we go i'll simply press the enter button and our game should successfully start for games like god of war gta 5 Lite, etc you need a pretty high end android device and here we go our game has successfully started you guys can see we are playing gta 5 Lite version on our android device running in this small window simply tap on the escape button go to settings you can also use your on-screen touch controls then go to graphics make sure to set the screen type as full screen scroll down and make sure that you have disabled vsync after simply press the space button and tap on enter for keep new settings here we go guys our game has successfully started and you guys can see we are getting almost 100 fps while emulating gta 5 Lite. so hence proved guys win later ludashi is very optimized you guys can see we are getting about 60 to 100 fps whereas if we try out the same game inside the game hub emulator we only get about 60 fps 50 to 60 fps so win later ludashi is the best performing windows emulator for android devices that you can try in 2026 make sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as i upload similar videos on my channel and if you face any problems you can let me know in the comment section down below i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching goodbye